Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Josh here coming at you with a Pokemon Go review. Uh, so Pokemon Go came out like a week ago, six days ago, something like that. And it's taken the world by storm. Well, it came out in Japan a while ago, but it came out in the US and a couple other places uh, last week. And everyone's lost their minds. So... I'm, like, level 8, um, so I know I'm not too high, there's some people that are, like, in the 20s, um, but I'm gonna talk about my, uh, experience with the game so far, what I think, like a review, and, um, what I hope to, hope to see, that kind of thing, um, so I've gone to uh, the Poke Stops. I'm sure you guys know what those are if you play the game. Basically, though, they're landmarks or points of interest on your map. Um, they could be parks. Uh, by my house, there's a hotel with a water fountain, and that's one. Um, a mall, shopping center, um, a lake. Something, you know, a major uh, tourist attraction, that kind of thing. And when you get a Pokestops, you can click on them and they drop loot. So, Pokeballs, uh, eggs, um, you know, that kind of thing. What uh, supplies that you need for your character. So, uh, I've gone through, I live in a city, so I've gone to a bunch of different stops and... Um, mostly parks and it was just so cool seeing everybody play uh i went to a park and everybody there was probably like 80 people walking around this little park and they were all on their phones and it was cool and they were all really nice i talked to a couple people um you know they helped me catch stuff we walked around together for a little bit and you just get to know new people it's really cool i'm on a facebook group for my state um and they post uh, people post you know uh hey meet me here which i mean seems kind of weird in a way because it's creepy you don't know who's gonna show up but uh i'll get into that in a second um so far, though, the community um, of Pokemon Go is really positive. Um, they're me. They're like nerds like me, pasty white <laughs> people uh, walking around outside, though. And it's really cool. Uh, and when you get eggs, you have to walk or ride your bike and keep your app open and uh, hatch the eggs. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's getting people outside meeting new people, getting exercise, uh, exploring their city or their town. Um, I live in Arizona, so it's crazy hot, so I'm not out for too long, but it's still really fun. Um, and yeah, it's been great. And uh, in the game, there's the three teams, the Valor, Instinct, or Mystic. I, myself, am Team Mystic, represent, uh, but the other two teams are really solid as well uh there's a lot of memes and a lot of jokes going around about the three teams but in real life the people i've met from other teams um like 98 percent of them have been really cool uh, a couple people got on my case about being team mystic and that was dumb and stuff or whatever um but like 98 percent of the team members are great because it it's like pokemon go itself is a community not the three teams the three teams i don't really care about that or pay attention to that um i've done a couple gym battles but i don't um uh, i'm still in the process of trying to find them all and level up and be more competitive so right now i'm not really battling but um the three teams doesn't really appeal to me or i don't know um but i do love team mystic uh the facebook group is super nice the twitter page is really awesome but all the players in ger in general have been really cool um the other thing is um 
Oh, sorry, guys. Trying to think. It's been a long day. But the other thing I wanted to talk about was um, the combat aspect. It's a little bit different than the tra- traditional games. Um, I'd like to see it um, played like the traditional, but it's like real time. I don't know how to explain it, but basically you can dodge attacks, um, tap on the screen for its special ability or its, uh, like, type attack, you know, its its special move. Um, I wouldn't mind the traditional, but once you get used to the new fighting style, it's not that bad. Um, And then they already announced that they're going to introduce trading in the future we don't really know when but they're going to do trading and um i think that's going to be great too because they promised that since it was first announced so um knowing that it's going to be hopefully soon is nice um pokemon go is i feel bad if you live in a rural area um because the more populated areas are like where the pop you know where most of the people get together and there's groups and there's lures on the pokestops attracting all the pokemon so if you live kind of a ways away from that um it is unfortunate you have to drive or um you know or basically just keep catching the same ones over and over. Uh, Pokemon Go does have microtransactions, which, um, unfortunately, if you're in a rural area, you might ha- have to purchase your supplies instead of finding them at the Pokestops. Um, you can find most of the things in the shop at Pokestops or by leveling up, so, um, you don't have to spend money, but, um, some people like doing that, um, I bought more Pokeballs when I first started, because I was running low and that kind of thing, but, um, besides that, that's about it, uh, the game is really solid, um, it does have a couple glitches every once in a while, but it's so new, and there's just, like, so many people playing it, I think that's to be expected, um, although in a perfect world, the app would be, like, 100% ready to go, um, it's almost there, the game's super fun, um, it's just crazy how, big and popular it got in so little time and i'm sure it's gonna die down there's like casual players they're probably gonna quit in like another week or so but then there's gonna be a narrower group um that's dedicated and i think that's really cool um i mean everybody like my age 20s even say closer to 30s uh we grew up playing those pokemon games and to have like the new real life digital you know using your phone running around outside catching them it's very nostalgic and i think that's really cool so if you haven't already i suggest downloading it even if you don't know much about pokemon uh give it a shot download it Go with a couple friends if they have it and uh, walk around your city. Um, You know, the last thing I did want to mention, though, is there are some crazy stories I've heard, though, about people luring Pokemon and other people and then, like, mugging them or, like, robbing them, that kind of thing. Um, I haven't heard much, many stories, but they're out there. So, guys, I just want you to know to be careful. Go with a group. Go to an area that you know is going to be safe. Um, Public area, not somewhere shady. Um, Go with a friend or a couple friends. um, That kind of thing. And, of course... Uh, it's summertime, stay hydrated, keep your phone charged, keep your phone on you, sunscreen, that kind of thing. Um, if you follow me on Tumblr, I posted, um, 
or reblogged. I didn't post it myself, but I reblogged um, safety tips and lists and um, you know basic decency things too is like keeping the parks clean uh there's been pictures of like uh team so-and-so spray painted on things and trash everywhere that's just not called for it's a very small group of the pokemon go players but they're out there and if you are one of them or if you spot one of them stop them stop it um you know just be decent have fun uh the game is you know don't ruin it for other people that's basically all i have to say i feel like such a parent (laughs) but uh anyways guys that's my pokemon go review it not really review but discussion uh it's a great game it's super fun super nostalgic and um gets people active which is really cool um so comment down below what you think of it and uh what's your rarest pokemon uh, comment down below what your rarest or favorite one is that you have. It doesn't have to be like rare or anything, but if it's, you know, unique or something like that, comment down below what it is. I'd love to hear. Um, as for me right now, my, um, favorite and best one is, uh, Pidgeot. I evolved it from a Pidgey, um, like the first day I got the game. So, uh, over the last week I've leveled it up and evolved it. Um, it's CP is like 360, which is low compared to what I've seen online. But for me, it's my strongest, (laughs) but I'm level eight. So, you know, um, and then it's not like, um, rare or anything, but I have a Vulpix and it's really weak, but it's, um, extra small. And I just laugh every time because I picture like this little bitty fox thing like in real life. And I don't know, it makes me laugh every time I scroll past it. But yeah, guys, those are my Pokemon. That's Pokemon Go for you and my thoughts about it. It's um, really cool and check it out. Anyways, guys, please leave a like, hit that subscribe button. That'd be awesome. And until next time, peace. Bye.